Okay, so to put this onto an old traditional style snowshoe, um, you're not going to have, like in the instructions they show, you're not going to have this webbing, that, this first row webbing that's really far apart. I don't really have these cross braces here. I have some stuff I could attach it to, but my the strongest point is this main lace here. That's my strongest lace. So I want to go around that. So I came up with just an alternate method. So when you get the, the toe strap, this part right here is sewn to this strap. This, this loop right here is free, and this is what's going to go around your shoe, uh, around your boot. So um, you need to go down. The first thing you want to do is you want to take and you want to run this down through this side, not over this side and up. You want to run it through this side and then pull it up. And you want to run it all the way down to where you just have a little bit where this is going to fit over the top of a boot. Then you want to come and you want to run down this side um, and, and make a loop all the way around it just like that. Then you're going to have to run this underneath the 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 snowshoe. Now the snow is going to the snow is going to cause some abrasion on this anyways. So running it under here isn't going to be a real big deal. So I want to just make sure that's kind of centered over there. Now it looks good. And then what I want to do is I want to come up through here again. So it's like that, and then I want to come around it one more time to hook, to really fasten it on there good. Come up through the same hole again, and pull everything tight. Okay, and then to fasten this on, don't go through, you don't go through this loop here. Well, yeah, you, you go through that loop there, and then you go through this loop here, and then you open this up, you pull this open, and you go underneath there. It has to go this way so that when you pull on it, it, it um, will stop it. And that tightens it up. And then any excess, when you tighten it up, you can loop back around and go through that loop right there. And that's your toe strap. Okay, so let's look at the instructions again one more time. And one of the things I noticed is this really isn't to scale. So here is kind of this side view of this strap and buckle. And what this shows is this shows, this right here is the little keeper. And let me undo this and I'll show you. And so I'll show you on here what it looks like. <clears throat> all right, so let me just demonstrate here so you understand all the parts of this. So right here is the keeper. That's what they're talking about here. This strap right here is this strap coming this direction. Here's the keeper. And then you can see this is where they've sewn it together. That's this part right here. Here's the buckle. It goes this way. And then um, this strap right here is this long strap here. So the strap goes down and it goes under the snowshoe lacing and over. And then what it does is when it comes back over, it actually goes like this. It goes under here, and then you have to go, that's in the way, you have to go up through this point here. And this is what was confusing, trying to figure out exactly what their picture was saying. So it goes underneath there, and then it goes through here to tighten up. A little stiff. Need to put some grease on that get it greased up some so that's what it looks like when it's finished and and according to this right here and so that's pretty confusing and i've seen some guys on youtube they're doing this all wrong but this is the appropriate way to do it so let me show you how to fasten this onto an old traditional um, wooden laced snowshoe all right when you first get started you may be confused a little bit and, and want to put it on like this and with these straps, they're pointing up because that's kind of the way the picture is showing. But that's wrong. This right here is where the heel of your boot goes. And it goes in here. 
and so you have to make sure that this printing is on the outside and this strap is down and the buckles are actually down like that because what will happen is when you strap your boot in here these straps will be sideways like this. That's really important. And then this strap right here is your ankle strap and it'll come up around and this strap needs to be um, like so. So to strap this in I simply went like so. This is more like what the instructions say. I come in here and I come down here and uh, I went around the main strap and you got to work it in a little bit to get in there and I got mine pretty close and then remember what I was, I was showing you that um, oh, I did that wrong. I need to come in this way. I had my strap upside down. So you come in here with the strap like so and then you come up underneath here. Well, you go through here first. You go through here and underneath and then you have to pull it through and go underneath right through here. And then you pull it tight and then you go through the buckle. Lift that up and pull it in. And then what you can do is for to keep it, you can come back here and you can run it through, you run it through this keeper and then you can run it through this loop right here one and you run it, that's what this loop is for and then you can come back around and run it through the keeper one more time to take up all that strap space so that's what it should look like and and to um to give yourself more more um if you need to, to adjust it um, say that you picked up somebody else's snowshoes and you need to adjust a little bit bigger you just undo that and then you can pull up on this and you can and take up some slack and adjust it out push down that hard and then bring it back up and run it through the keeper again okay so I'm going to just finish the other side really quickly and then I'll show you how to adjust these so for this side again you come underneath here Come up around the main lace. You want to get this. I've done this upside down again. Pull that through. I want to get mine pretty close because I know that that's where my other one is. You run it through there. You go up through this slot there behind the buckle. Pull up this slack. Open it up. Run it through there. And then come back through the, the elastic keeper. And then go through the metal loop. And come back around and run it through the keeper again. Okay, so now your binding is on there. You got your heel strap there, and then your ankle strap here. The ankle strap is really simple. All it does is it comes around, and I'll show you that on this one right here. Here's the ankle strap. So let me show you how the ankle strap goes here. I'll put a boot in there. An the ankle strap simply comes around. I'll take the boot out for now. And it just, the ankle strap comes through this loop here and through this buckle there. And you pull it tight like so. Okay? All right, let me show you what you do to adjust this boot so, adjust these so that your boot is fitting in there right. Before you go snowshoeing with these, with any snowshoes, the first thing you should do is just simply take your boot and put your boot on it and and strap it in. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to show you with this one here. This one I've adjusted completely, and um, and it's set up for this boot. 
you don't want to be out there in the snow fiddling around with in the cold. You want to be at home and have your your boot adjusted properly. You may need to make some other adjustments when you get out in the field, but this is what it should look like. Your heel strap should let your boot go back too far. And then your toe should go about halfway through up to three quarters of a way through for pivoting. That's so that when you need to, you can put your foot down and climb up hills and, and, and use the toe of your boot to climb up. It needs to come through far enough that you're going to have a chance to, to grip the snow if you need to walk on the tips of your toes. This strap needs to be back far enough that it's not going to slip over the end of it. So when you tighten it down, it's not going to slip over the end. And then this ankle strap, I really love these bindings. I mean, they were real simple bindings, but well thought out. It comes around, goes through there, tucks through the buckle, grab onto the strap there, and cinch it down, and it's done. If you want to, you could even come and take up the slack by running it through there. And that would even make it more secure. So let me show you on this one. Let me grab my other boot. Let's, let me show you on this one if you need to make any adjustments, how simple it is. So let me undo this one here. So I got my boot. I put my boot in. Loosen up a little bit. So I want my boot to be about halfway and no more than three quarters of, a, of the width of this. So halfway is about right there, three quarters is about right there. So I want my ankle strap and my heel strap to come up over my boot. And these fit pretty tight. But as, they, as, as you wear them and they get moist, they'll loosen up a little tiny bit. So this one, I'm going to tighten this down. And I want to make sure that my heel strap doesn't let it go back too far and then it's equal. Okay, so see how my, my boot is not sitting there equally? I need to tighten up this one some. So I need to take, and I need to take up some slack on this one. And that's really simple. All you have to do is just loosen this up a little bit and pull, pull it there, grab onto it and pull that through. And I, I need to, to take up quite a bit. Pull this through. You never have to change this. Once your boots get, once you got your boots set up for for this particular thing, you never have to readjust these again. As long as you're using the same boots, and it's the same person that's using them. If it's a different person, take the time to adjust them before you go out in the field. Okay, so I got that done. Put my boot in there again. Up this little bit. Get my boot in there. Put the heel strap up around it. Want it to lay flat. So that's pretty good. I still don't like it though. It needs to be up a little bit farther. So I think this one could be tightened up a little bit. Anyways, that's about where you want it. It's about halfway. It's about halfway. You want to have them equal on each one. So I could take and tighten this up a little bit more. But basically, you get the idea. And super good snowshoe bindings. They're made of nylon, they last a long time. The usins are brand new, but they were from 1981. 
and they'll last as long as these snowshoes last. Anyways, thanks for joining me. We're going to enjoy these next season. When we go out and do some ice fishing, we got a snowshoe into some place. And uh, these bindings are going to be really great because our last ones fell apart. <laughs> it was on this, on this pair. So, when you get these bindings all put on and you have your boot in there, this is what should happen. This boot should be able to pivot very easily, but everything should stay on there. So it should pivot nicely. You should be able to dig your toe in right there. It shouldn't be coming up there and riding up here on that. You don't want your toe going up on there. And um, everything should be good and secure and tight, which will give you hours of pleasure of going through the snow. But generally speaking, you should be good if you've made all the adjustments at home and you got everything tightened up but those are really great bindings i'm glad i bought them